I spoke with you in 2022 and 2023, and over these years, you have pushed regional actors uh, to support the peace process. However, some now claim that the U.S., by launching a military operation in the Red Sea, is standing in the way of a political solution. How do you balance this military action with these peace efforts trying to you know, connect the Houthis and the PLC? Yeah, very. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we are still very committed to the peace effort in Yemen. Um, what what is happening in the Red Sea is not a military operation by the U.S. or anybody. It's a military operation by the Houthis, um, attacking ships of of any nationality, any any type of crew that have no connection with Israel. These attacks uh, do nothing to help uh, the people of Gaza, the Palestinians. They create damage. Um, they, there's literally a tanker on fire right now in the Red Sea, which the Houthis uh, caused, which is loaded with a million barrels of oil. Um, and there's a you know major international salvage operation to put these fires out. This is entirely preventable. And the last thing that the region, the Red Sea, needs is a vital international waterway. It's a source of livelihood for millions of Yemeni people, the fishermen. It's it's a it's a it's a blatant. Um, uh, symbol, I think, of the disregard that the Houthis have for uh, for the region and for the Yemenis. Um, so we're 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 in a defensive posture in the in the Red Sea. We're shooting down things that the Houthis are firing at different countries at uh, different targets. It's defensive in nature. And but there is you know as t- there is a military alliance now in the Red Sea, trying which under Operation Prosperity Guardian. So when we look at this, how do you assess this operation? Has it achieved its goals? Or are there some areas areas where you believe adjustments can be made? Certainly believe adjustments can be made. I think, again, Operation Prosperity and Guardian, Prosperity Guardian is, a, is defensive in nature. It does not attack or shoot at Yemen um, or, or the Houthis or any of their capability. Uh, and that is designed to protect shipping lanes. I mean, this is a vital uh, shipping region. Large percentage of world commerce goes through the Red Sea. Um, great, a great number of, of oil and energy products bound for countries in Europe, bound for Asia. I mean, the, the, what the Houthis are doing is against um, international principles. It's against. Uh, it's it's not in the wishes of anybody but itself, and possibly the Iranians. Uh, so this is unfortunate. Uh, it's a situation that has to be brought under control. And we're doing everything we can to de-escalate this situation so we can get back to peace in Yemen. I mean, that was and remains the goal of, of all of our efforts to get into a uh, sustainable Yemeni-Yemeni dialogue um, on on peace in Yemen. Mm. So, you know, I have my article here when I interviewed you in 2023. Uh, and around this time, you said I as and the next step is a Yemeni Yemeni dialogue. How far now or near, or close are we to this step? I mean, I think you could you could have a Yemeni Yemeni dialogue tomorrow if the Houthis would agree to it. Um, but their you know their actions are so off putting and so damaging to their reputation as a Yemeni party. Um. Any goodwill that they uh, mustered as a result of the truce they agreed to in 2022, I mean, all of that is eroding uh, because of their actions, not only on the Red Sea, but they've also detained more than 100 local staff. That's their own people, the Yemeni people, Mm. um, who are working for UN and international organizations. And they're talking about spirings and trials and a judicial process. That's all that's all nonsense. I mean, these are these are, you know, Yemenis trying to earn a living and working in the humanitarian space for the betterment of their country. And the Houthis are 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 damaging that effort. So we're just seeing so much behavior from the Houthis that that is out of bounds. And it's it's very, very frustrating to everybody who wants to see Yemen back on its feet, its economy revitalized and a genuine peace effort underway. It could be done. 